Hello everyone. So today in this video, I'm going to show you a really nice AI photo editing software which works really amazing and I'm blown away by the results. So here we go. So if you search for Luminar AI photo editing software, you can get over here and you can see this is an AI photo editing software and the results are totally mind blowing guys. So this is before and this is after. So it turns your image to whole next level. Now here I headed on to their site and quickly install the software and there you go. Let me fast forward the process because it's uh, nothing new. Clicking couple of next and there you go. I installed it and it's 7 days free trials. Uh, let's select this one and double click on it and boom let's open in full screen mode and there you go. Now you can see replace this cry and there we go. Let's try this. So the sky selection and we have bunch of options over here so let's see like uh, which sky do we need so let's select this one and it is automatically replacing the sky wow you can see this is really amazing the sky is being replaced uh, now let me replace this one. Oh wow this is really amazing guys the ai editing works really flawless that is really good editing and by the way let me show you the details you can see the image is very detailed and it doesn't have any artifacts in terms of the editing. So the, it's basically like a very professional editing output that you will get. So let me try a couple of this. This looks really futuristic. Wow. I can see like this sky is amazing. And uh, let me do a normal sky with the clouds. Wow. And the thing I liked uh, about this one, you can see there are no artifacts whatsoever so uh, let's say you if you try some of the you know casual android apps to edit this kinds of stuff you'll always get some uh, you know cloud artifacts onto your actual image so uh, this should not be there so here we go this is working perfect now here we have augmented sky so you can in integrate a object like for example a balloon so you can see a balloon is added over there and uh, we have a couple of different objects like you can see we have the moon so let's try this out you can see moon looks like this and also we have the atmosphere so it's a 60 percent haze 100 percent let me turn this off turn this on turn this off turn this on so it's a very subtle effect let's create the sun rays so place sun center so let's do the amount oh wow you can see where this is going like let me see uh, I, I'm going to change the sky and l let me create a very dramatic photo so probably like this and I will try like a very try to create a very sci-fi fictional image so let me go into the uh, augmented sky I will turn this off I don't particularly like this object so in the sun rays I will place sun center and I can basically put the sun center over here maybe there so it's totally my preference and I can also wow you can see when I put the sun sun behind the you know walls it kind of emulates the effect so that's really neat and I can also set the amount so whatever may be the realistic one and I can turn it on and off so the effect is really there so I mean the AI editing is doing its magic you can set various uh, levels of you know options over here penetration oh penetration is also there so that means I, I will adjust the sun center first of all so you can see like this can be a really good image like this and penetration I will decrease it down so you can get the idea guys this is looking so dramatic and let me set the dramatic amount as well wow by the way this looks good but dramatic has its own place now let me select the mood so I can select the LUT LUT if I have the LUT myself okay they have the pre you know pre-designed LUTs over there so wow like this is very vibrant image there and we got a really amazing and interesting result now let's see like the original image uh, how can we see that so here you can see before and after so you can see guys before the image was like this and after it is edited like this and you can see guys editing in right in front of you just as I downloaded it 
I didn't have any particular experience with using this software but I see this is working out really amazing you can see before and this is after so this is before and this is after by the way this is working out so neat and now what do we have we have toning so what kind of a toning do we have wow you see subtle toning changes also we have shadows also saturation hue control then what's this matte let's check it out okay we have this uh, matte uh, effect on top of the image so let's remove this we have mystical so that looks somewhat amazing okay so it's adding like a soft uh, overlay on the top of the image so yeah that's it then adding the glow have the amount okay so it adds the glow in, in small levels it can go work good so you can see glow is adding to the image and i i can totally see guys like output of this image is kind of impressive you can totally see where it's heading to i'm totally blown away by the image image output quality and i can see uh, how i can improve my editing quality with this simple little software now let me show you what else we have a bunch of other options so face skin body and uh, like oh my goodness like going into the professional we have optics so we can add some lens distortion so let me add some lens distortion so it can correct for the lens distortion as well so we have a color harmony so there is a brilliance oh wow like <laughs> i don't have to tell anything about the image guys you can see how vibrant the image is now and i don't think like any software will let you edit your image like this so wow you can totally see the difference side by side by the way this is the before and after you can turn it on and off or any time and this is the preview you can see okay and let's set the color contrast wow oh my goodness guys you can totally see the before and after okay before after and like this is getting better and better and let me let me see other functions as well so let me do the split color warmth so here we have the warm i will decrease it down so increasing it will deepen down the color levels and then let me put it this into cool decreasing the cool so i can get pretty sci-fi looking images with this edits but anyways center zero then dodge and burn okay dodge and burn then burn size okay so i can burn this like that then we have the strength of the burn so wow like i can't really believe with my eyes how how did i edit this myself i i can't believe guys it's totally working out great anyways moving forward uh, we have clone so this is a clone stamping tool so we we can set the radius so let's say there is some kind of um, imperfection in the image so in order to do the clone stamping let me select the source color and i will kind of a here we go and i will put it over here and you can see that kind of a clone stamps and we got rid of this window over there but we need to do the fine edit but yeah there is an option we can totally do that you can see how it works so you can see basically that window we just eliminated and all sorts of edit you can do i mean i'm just touching the tip of the iceberg over here and uh, we have a bunch of tutorials as well so you can learn from this by the way let me show you the before and after so that's all for today's video guys please do hit that like share this video subscribe to our channel and i will catch you in the next one goodbye